currently working on a video that you are about to watch, but that's not what I want to tell you guys. I want to tell you guys that I am currently and finally on TikTok. So go over there, give me a follow, get us to the very first thousand followers. Every person that follows me and gets me to a thousand, I will definitely give you a follow back. Now, if you are not on TikTok, I advise you to go on it and give me a follow because I'm going to be putting a lot of my short format videos over there, whether it's cooking at home or just doing live sessions where I can talk to you guys. So follow me on TikTok and I'll definitely give you guys a follow back. Anyway, let's get into today's video where it was, yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Now, today's video is going to be awesome and that's because of one simple question that I asked the ladies from Bikini Bottoms while they were on the videos. That question was, what would be three things you would take if you were stuck on an island? We saw some pretty interesting answers and you guys are going to see how they fear using these three items on the next video. Right now, I'm basically on a little bit of a chaperone mission where I'm going to be filming that content, sharing that experience with you guys soon. But in the meantime, why not enjoy the nature that's out here? Now, I've been out here before, me and Jilly, we've caught shrimp, we've caught uh, crayfish as well. In America, you guys might call it crawdads now I'm going to be working on a dish hopefully we're gonna be able to catch something now I did read some of the comments people did say to me um, I could use different types of baits and I actually went on the internet to see exactly what baits would work best I found two interesting answers one was cat food and the next one was actually chicken liver so we're gonna actually try those in today's video and hopefully it works out so sometime in the evening I'm gonna go out there set the traps and see by in the morning if we're going to be able to have something to eat in the meantime we're working on the next content so i'm just going to go jump into the river enjoy this experience as much as i can now one quick tip as i always share with you guys when you're going to any form of river or beach in jamaica on your travels it is best to go there during the week because during weekends a lot of people you tend to use these spots you're going to hear a lot of music there's going to be a lot of excitement and if you're not looking for that you're looking for something that's peaceful calm and relaxing it would be better to go in the week anyway let's enjoy this as much as we can and let's have a vibe and cook up something at the end of the day all right so we are going to try to catch some crayfish um it's pretty cold right now and i don't really want to i don't really feel like i want to be swimming around to be honest to set traps where i could just lower them in and i, I brought the spear but i don't think i want to spare any um, crayfish at the moment. So, Nia is gone to get something out of her tent, which is the, the traps that I put in there. And then I just took out um, the chicken liver here. So we have the chicken liver and it's in a Ziploc bag. So basically I'm just gonna kind of crack the Ziploc bag a little bit, put it into the the trap section of the trap, the bait section of the trap actually. And yeah, for the cat food, it's basically gonna be the same thing. I already have a can in here. So it's one of the easy open tops. So I'm just gonna crack this open and I'm gonna put it into the bait station of the trap and leave it. Um, usually these creatures have pretty high senses of smell. So you don't have to open everything out too much. And I think, I don't want it to flake out or you know just dissipate into the water so that's basically going to be the vibe so let's head over to there really quick drop these traps and let's see what tomorrow brings so Nia in, in Jamaica I mean people see these videos all the time and mm -hmm. it seems like commonplace I remember like my grandmother and my uncles and stuff it's just common for them have you ever gone like crayfish fishing before or seen one get caught Nope, it's pretty new for you, yeah? So this is gonna be an experience for me. Facts. <laughs> cool. Well, let's hope that it's not a failed experience. <laughs> let's hope we actually catch something. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, the next question. Um, have you ever do you eat these things though? Do you eat crayfish? I've never tried that before today. I'll lie, I tell you, you eat yeah, shrimp? But I've never tried to Okay. Eat. Well if you eat if you eat um shrimp, uh -huh. yeah, crayfish is pretty much the same. It don't really hold the flavor as nicely as shrimp, but it's basically the same thing. Probably a little bit tougher, but that is the same. Okay. 
Okay. Vibes. So one of these baits, I don't remember which one catches what, but each of them are actually targeted at a different species. So I'm actually gonna put them in different um, traps. I'm not gonna mix them or anything. I'm kind of interested to see which one catches the most or if they even catch any whatsoever. So let's go with the cat food first. All right, so I kind of opened it like halfway. And then we have the chicken liver, monogolite chicken liver. Kind of expensive. I'd be so disappointed if I don't catch over $500 worth of crayfish because <laughs> yeah, a pack of chicken liver in Jamaica was something like $500, $600. But of course, this is not all of it. So if it does work, I'll have plenty more. For other trips but um yeah i'm just gonna open this bag like quarter way there and see man uh, many people will tell you though you could use just any entrails just any like waste things or whatever but i kind of wanted to see i'm curious All right, so we have the trap set. So the next thing is to just put some rocks in there just to weigh it down so that they, they don't float away as easily. Well, it's kind of hard for these to float away because there's so many holes, but you never know. So I'm gonna throw some rocks in there to kind of weight it down and yeah. One rock. T-Rex. If you catch stuff, this will be a very simple dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first one is the cat food. We're gonna throw it here. Point the light somewhere there. More to the edge. Yeah. And then just here, it's a bit deeper, we're gonna throw the, the chicken liver one. I'm going to see what I go on. <laughs> Let's see. You never really had to do nothing but just bait and toss. All right, guys. Welcome to my room. Now, if I'm to be fair in here, if you are like six foot two, it's going to be cramped for you. Yeah, right now I'm slouching against the, the back door here. And that's because this is my position whenever I want to watch some Netflix. So I'm kind of propped up and I can watch what I'm watching. Now to the rear of the driver's side, of course, which is where I'm at right now, wherever the feet go, it generally is a bit slouched. So what I do, I just put like a bag there and I prop my feet up on it and it just evens everything out, give you more of a you know, leveled surface. I don't know if in the background you could have heard the fan chip in. The fan actually chipped in for the power bank to kind of cool it down. And that gives me a little bit of a warm air. The same thing with the fridge. It gives you a nice little warm feel. So it helps to kind of make in here a little bit warmer and more conducive to a nice environment. Now, of course, if it gets a little bit too warm, all I do, I just keep the windows cracked a little bit. It lets in, you know, fresh air, releases the warm air. So... That's basically that. Um, beside me, of course, I have one of the newer coldest bottles. Super amazing. Have that beside me so I can have something to drink that is cold and I can eat something at the same time while I watch Netflix. So this is basically the setup, man. Quite comfortable. Quite like it. If I decide to go camping places like here and I don't want the hassle of doing up a whole tent and I have enough space, this is definitely what I do. Anyway, um... You guys saw the traps that are set, so in the morning we should hopefully catch something. I did move the van a bit closer to Nia's tent because she's a little bit concerned of the van being a little bit, you know, away, you know, for safety purposes. And on property tonight, there is a police officer, so yeah, there's some security there for us. But uh, for now, I'll catch you guys in the morning where we get the chance to cook something up.
guys um, I am looking off into the thing and I, I think I see some shrimp I think I see some crayfish as well at first I was kind of skeptical but I, I think I can see them from here so we're gonna go into this cold water and um, yeah swim around for a little bit um, definitely enjoy the water and then take these traps out all right let's go for it What obviously was the chicky liver trap I see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's at least 12 in here which is not bad for a couple hours in the water all right so chicky liver it's not bad I see mainly crayfish uh, I thought I think I saw white shrimp all right not gonna lie um just off of a rough look i think the the cat food one did pretty well um yeah just off a rough look I, I do see a bit more shrimp in this one as well and of course the longer you keep it would be the better for you and um the more traps as well so yeah it sure beats swimming around for a while trying to um you know spear them i would say but I probably prefer the spearing one because it's a lot more fun than this, but this is, I guess, more rewarding. Um, so I'm going to take out the bait, toss the bait in the water so that the other crayfish can have something to eat and help them to repopulate as well. And I don't usually come to the same fishing spot quite often. I think I came here like four or five months ago, tossed them some coconut, you know, give them some time to get me and don't take a lot. You know what I'm saying? Take enough for your dish allow them the chance to grow but yeah i'm happy we're gonna be able to cook something for lunch today all right this is gonna be your first time seeing crayfish alive yep all right how much did you think i caught alive or dead because i've never seen one you're lying alive or dead yeah. wow probably have but let's see <laughs> if you if you did all right how much do you think we got i don't know looks like a lot like a lot all right let's go Wow. So this is a species. You're sure you've never seen this before? Careful. Oh gotcha. no, I thought I stepped on a bug. <laughs> oh no. You sure you've never seen this before? No. You're lying, bruh. Really? No, seriously. I can't tell which one is shrimp though. Okay, so alright, so you know I think that one's a shrimp over there, right? The ones with the, that have like very tough looking shells. Yeah, this one. Those are crayfish. This oh. one that looks kind of light, oh. the color, that's definitely a shrimp. So it's um, it's softer, nice I've shell. I've never seen a live shrimp either. Wow. This is so cool. So I them get red. 
here just to eat. Oh. Just like lobster, shrimp, and some crabs. Yeah. When he I've touches seen them. a live lobster before and I know it's this color. Yeah. So once so. he touches it, it just gets. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's, that's it. Yeah, so that was quite easy. Look at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and probably I say, oh my god, kitchen at this now. Agreed. <laughs> that's what they did. Can they live up um, outside the water? No. So they're going to die eventually, right? Eventually, but they can live outside the water for a pretty decent while. Oh? Like, yeah. I think if you drop their body temperature as well, put them in the fridge, slow them down. Yeah, I've seen that. Really? Yeah, put them in the fridge next day. Chances they're are they're still tempted. alive? Yeah, even lobster can do the same thing. So yeah. No, this one of belly full today. Gotcha. Yo, it's super interesting that um, the things that we know, some persons may not know or never seen before. I cannot believe that Nia never saw crayfish before. <laughs> um, but fun and joke aside though, even for myself, it was in the later years that I saw crayfish. Um, it was just stories, you know, I hear like your grandmother said, they talk about Janga or whatever. I never heard of it before. But anyway, what I want to tell you guys just now is that when you swim in the morning, it's somewhere like 7 something like 8 o'clock, the water is a lot warmer, so it's not as cold. So, yeah, that's something to note if you want to jump into the river and you're a bit afraid of something too cold. This one, his, his, his pinters are reaching for me. He's like, yo, dude, cat would have a very strong smell, man. It tastes weird, too. What do you mean it tastes weird? <laughs> What's our prank where a girl like prank her boyfriend and give him cat food? Oh. Because I was like, I was, I was gonna be like, yo, that. <laughs> that's your other <that> pun? <laughs> nah. But like, I thought cat food would taste like just regular like, fish. Like, sh yeah, no. Nah. So, wait, how fish attracted to fish? Because hmm? cat food is fish, you know, so how are they attracted to the fish? They eat each other? Yeah. It's like small fish big fish eat small fish that's basically it <laughs> that one here i said i want to go oh. <laughs> poor, the poor crayfish all right cat food is out and a fair amount of it kind of went out into the water so i guess there was food out there. I'll toss the rest. Yeah, this definitely smells like chicken liver. Wow. I know they definitely beat. <laughs> yo, they, they, yo, they dealt with this, bruh. Wow.
All right, so this one I can see has eggs, so yeah, I'll throw her back in. Go on, mama. I can't kill them when they can breed up, you know? Them egg look disgusting. <laughs> Just black. Yeah, but you just stick on them back like this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that is what a lot of us Jamaicans near don't understand. See, if a business like this, we are catching crayfish to sell back and to eat, or even just for leisure. Yeah. You can't they stop your own livelihood, watch it again, see? With the eggs and that. So, you know, if you can toss back a couple of them, you understand? If you like the eggs, them okay, but instead of eating every single one that has the eggs on them, you see, you can toss back some. You know what I'm saying? Not like me, it's not like me not want to survive a situation where, oh my god, I'm gonna die if I don't eat it. I'm not gonna die. If we give nature a chance, then we give you a chance to. So. Alright, we have quite a few more in here. Let's go meet Jilly. Carry them for Jilly. Yep. No, by right, I eat them and eat them. It's a byproduct. Eat them and eat them.
This, uh, this addition is really all about timing, you know. Then they ain't enough, bro. No, which one you have to Anyway, any respect. I don't see a kitchen, bro. No. No more. Mm. Where are the menu? Hmm? Where are the menu? Uh, the shrimp, crayfish fried rice. Crayfish fried rice? Yeah. That looks good. Chinese place here, them just color the rice with soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Literally, you can taste that it's low fried. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no egg, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Yo, I can taste every seasoning by using this. Seriously, how you that square me? Oh, but that's square. Yeah. 11. What's that 10? Bamba! Up! I feel bad because I just I had a shrimp in my plate and I ate it. I should have made you try the shrimp shrimp. <laughs> oh god. Let me see. Only two shrimps. I don't think it had that much shrimp, so. Eh, I didn't get any action. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna laugh, so. This is good. This is good, that's why I laugh. Am I not always laughing? That's true. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this shot. Mm. Good. <laughs> 